Commencement addresses are usually garbage. They're for colleges seeking publicity. So you end up with a star hawking platitudes to an audience suckled on baby formula called The Daily Show. I was once asked to do one for a high school in Jersey, but I turned it down because they wouldn't pay my cab fare. <laughs> so here's my advice for free. Take any job, any job you can find, work your butt off for one solid decade. That will put you 10 years up on any pothead backpacking to Europe, video game playing drone who thinks success drops from the sky like a magical Kardashian. Modern culture has created a warped view of achievement. Not everyone gets a reality show. So instead, be a workhorse. And by 2025, you'll surpass the famous people you see now. Hard work beats those who prefer identity over industry. Also, ask dumb questions and listen quietly for the answers. That's a wisdom stair climber. Steer clear of pot. It's an ambition sapper. Wait till you've made it. When you're 45, buy a bong. But for now, buy a suit. Move somewhere with decent public transit so you don't drive drunk and hit somebody. Scalpel your online footprint to a fly's toe. <laughs> Twitter is the contrail of life. When I'm hiring, I don't need to see your naked butt. And I'm pretty open to new things. <laughs> Real experience beats web activity. Everything's being filmed. So any public rant you do to a clerk at a shoe store, that scars you eternally. Which leads me to my last point. If you're hiring, if you're the person doing the hiring, forgive a scar or two. Remember that when we were young, we were also idiots. There were just no cameras there to catch it. All right. We Speak just, for yourself. <laughs> well, you filmed everything, Dana? <laughs> no, I wasn't an idiot. You know what the thing is? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. I've seen the photos. One thing I noticed when I was young was I was impatient for success. Every, I think everybody is impatient for success. It will come, but don't let, you shouldn't let that impatience drive you crazy. Well, I think right now, though, there is some overwhelming concern by graduates because if you look, remember that book we talked about last week called Disinherited? Yes. And it was talking about the amount of student loan debt, the regulations and taxes, all those things that add up so that graduates now, they're starting out the marathon in, of life with 20-pound lead weights on their ankles. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 But I agree with you. Take any job, get started, and stop with the video games and pot. I'm not for that. Well, How about ever? Oh, wait, what, well, well he 45. said do it when you're 45. No, because my point is delayed gratification is the one thing we, we uh, ignore these days. And if you delay it, it becomes more pleasurable later in life. And you don't want to put it before you do something. But how would you know to give advice on that? Because I do not believe that you lived your life that <laughs> That way. is true. Okay, thank you. Yes, so I am a hypocrite. <laughs> thank you very much. I really. can, Let's that should have been my monologue. Well, you know the people that you did not um, promote. Because the, you, they live like that. Here's my, here's my point. I have friends my age who started smoking pot when they got out of college. They didn't get anywhere. But if they drank, they, were, they managed to go somewhere. Hmm. Does that make sense? I, I, think you're, <laughs> I think what you're saying is correct. I mean, I believe in that. I think you should work hard and earn it. It's the proper mental strategy and mentality. I wasn't sitting there going, oh, who can I hang out with that's like smoking pot? I would not do that. I would avoid people like that. I never did any of that. I was trying to be appreciative for the education I have, for the sacrifices my parents made. I was very interested in perfect attendance. Of okay, course. and straight A's and, you know, Dean's List, because those, I think, were worthwhile, mm -hmm. you know, endeavors. And it was important to spend my time in that way and you become well-rounded. You know what, you know what I, I find so interesting with this, this <laughs> generation, these people graduating in yeah. Oftentimes, they have very low expectations for themselves. Mm. They don't really think that they can do it. And so I would say you should believe in yourself. Yeah. Really? You know, you were talking I, about I disagree impatient. with you. Oh, no, I'm going to tell you something. In yeah. church... I, you know, at church, the kids, I'll say, where are you going to college? And they'll say they're going to the community college or this state's going. I say, you're really right. bright. You have great grades. Why aren't you applying to some of these big fans schools? Because they're afraid of rejection. They and well, they, and they say things like, oh, well, my mom doesn't want me to move away. Or I don't that's know anybody crazy. over there. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, that school's filled with a lot of white people. I just think it's crazy. I think, what? you know what? you got to believe in yourself. You can do it. That's what I would say to them. What do you yeah. say about the... But community college and well, state stupid. college can it's be stupid. a good that's option for people. <laughs> It, but Eric, you know what? He brings up a good point. You must be willing to travel. In the C block, he brings up a good point. <laughs> <laughs> he had nothing. Yes, that's, that's right. Can, can Why I, does I, Eric attack me? Can I throw? One, yeah, in Twitter. Can I throw one caveat yeah. to your? I love your idea. Take a job, do it for ten years, and work at it, and you'll succeed. Can I just add? Take a job that you enjoy. Yeah. Not necessarily any job, mm -hmm. because if you don't enjoy the job, it's going to be. A, a decade of hell. Mm -hmm. But if you do enjoy the job, even if they don't pay, I agree with you. But Bowling, what was your philosophy? Because you achieved a lot. You were really Never getting quit. after with baseball and trading quit. and everything. And again, if it's what you like and you desire and you want it, just don't. I mean, so many 
so many things, bumps in the road or potholes, you know, and you want to give it up and throw it in, and you, you just have to keep going. And don't move home. Yeah. Got to be a little hungry. I never quit. I just got fired. And community Three college times. is okay. <laughs> okay, so don't listen to you, basically. No, you should try to get fired once in a while. Okay. It's good for you.